Greetings, YouTube. This is Fragments of Memory, a.k.a. the Armchair Philosopher. I was watching a video today, and the title was Dumb ASS Black Women Love Ignorant Thug Niggas. That was the, uh, that was the title of the vid. Now, apparently it's a video that was being sold, and it was a trailer for some sort of documentary. And they were doing, I guess, something like a street interview segment. And what was interesting is these two black women were talking about how the bad boy, the thug, the roughneck was more interesting to deal with. And of course, there were many women celebrating the bad boy and going, oh, yeah, girl, he's this, that, he's this, that, he's this, that, and the third. Well, though he may have that sexual appeal, it seems that this gentleman, and I use the term loosely, is in, in a bad situation, and he's bringing you down with him. Um, then they then they cut to a scene from the from the documentary, I'm assuming, where they were just discussing the difference between the good guy and the nice guy, the the, the gentleman versus the thug. Um, and one of the pers one of the women said, um, "The good dude can only be the best friend." So it seems that while this woman deals with the man who abuses her, steals her money, uses her car to pick up other women and gets abused, chooses that. And she ends up dealing with this bad individual because he has such charm and such swagger that that's something the good guy doesn't have. The good guy has nothing coming. So while the girl is rolling with the bad boy, she cries to the good man who is only in the friend zone. Oh, I can't believe he did this to me. Blah, 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 blah. And of course, she goes back to that guy. Screaming, I love my man. I love my baby. I love my baby. Even though he may be breaking you. Even though he may be mistreating you. But at the same time, there may be that other guy that you're crying to that might actually be good for you. And that's that's sort of how I see it. Where the good guy is relegated to the warm and fuzzy sounding board. The friend zone or just the whole... He's the equivalent of the teddy bear. What do people do? What did you do when you were a kid and you were scared of the monsters in the nighttime? You held on to your teddy bear or your fluffy doll of some sort. And then when the, night, when the night was over, you left the doll to go on about your day. And that's sort of what these women seem to do with the so-called good guy that can only be the friend. Um, they even talk about how the bad boy gave off the vibe of I can protect you and you can't feel safe with the quote unquote nice guy. So, <clears throat> I don't see how one feels safe with a dude who's disrespecting them and and in some cases might be even abusing them or cheating on them or getting caught up in some foolishness. How do you feel safe when you could possibly be in danger? Let's say he's into illegal activity. Let's say he's robbing banks or something or slanging and the police kick down the door or whatever. Or you gotta you gotta hide or you gotta deliver a little package. And of course, you got to be careful of law enforcement or rival drug dealers or gangs or something like that. I don't see how that's feeling safe, so I think that's a little retarded. But <laughs> either way, um, and apparently this aggressiveness in his demeanor also can translate to aggressiveness in the bedroom. And of course, there are women that like that roughness in the in the realm of sexuality. And the woman, and then I think another comment that was say, the woman feels as though he got he got me. Like, he can, he can take care of me. And I talk about in an earlier video, one of my videos, I talk about just the whole idea of the, the support system. Women usually have a good support system about them. And I just wanted to just really look at this video, and I had to sort of just chuckle to myself. And then these will be the same women, after dealing with these guys that scream, I can't find a good man. And I realized that, just like in in the realm of love and sexuality, we 
it, it's also like um, in buying something from the store. Most people, when they make a purchasing decision, usually make it on emotions, on how they feel. This is what an owner of a, of a perfume bar once told me. She said, most people make decisions based on their emotions and their feelings. They don't make it based on actual knowledge. Many times people are just, I feel okay about this product. I feel safe about this product. So I'll purchase this product based on that. So that's kind of how I see what happens with these ladies is with the good dude, I don't feel those wonderful, magical, electro electric feelings that I do with the bad boy. And even as I'm feeling these wonderful electric feelings, so to speak, I don't want to deal with, you know, I also got to deal with the drama he comes with. And then, of course, after you get older and you've, quote unquote, been used up and ran through by these bad boys, as many as a few brothers on YouTube have, have put it. Now you want to find the good guy to take care of you and love you and pay attention to you after you just brushed him off to the side to go mess with a thug Negro who don't take care of his kids, don't have kids, don't take care of his kids, don't respect his kids, don't respect the baby mama, but still you, you, you seem to want to reward the bad behavior. And that's fine. If these black women wish to, and I speak, I speak to certain segments of the black female population. Just let me provide that disclaimer and that caveat right now. I'm not talking about every single black woman in America, but but from that certain segment, which seems to be many. <laughs> hmm, excuse me. Which seems to be many. Don't don't get caught up in this man's magical magnetic power. Sometimes we, we, get, we do get guided by emotions and ruled by our feelings. And that isn't always good. There's actually a quote in the Bible that says, uh, the heart is deceptive above all things. Who can know it? I think that's in the book of Jeremiah. But I brought that quote up just to, just to say that even your emotions can be lying to you. Because, and sometimes we get so caught up in the emotion, we forget the logical side. And I think, I hope and pray that many of these black women stop that or change that frame of thinking, change that psycho psychology of thinking. Quit thinking that Everything's gonna be cool and copacetic all the time because you got your magical bad boy with you. And and the irony is is that again I go back to bad behavior gets rewarded and good behavior gets penalized. Well, that's my two cents on that video. It just really had me cracking up and had me shaking my head all at the same time. So leave your feedback. Have a good one.